What's going on, y'all? It's your man Vic, and I'm the house owner of Columbia. Hey, man, I just got off the phone with a client of mine, and uh, she's getting frustrated. My client is approved for 145,000, and getting down payment assistance up to 15,000. And she was getting a little frustrated because she wasn't able to find anything. She's only been approved uh, since the 10th of June, so not long. Today is the 20th, so 10 days, a week and a half, and. <clears throat> She said, I'm getting so frustrated. I think I'm just going to um, renew my lease for my apartment. And I stopped everything because that's a pet peeve of mine. It really pisses me off when people uh, say something like that. And I told her, I said, do me a favor. Never say that again. It's almost like just giving up when what you want is right around the corner. Um, you know, if you had a car, and I asked you this, I said, if you had a car that got in an accident or, or was stolen and the bank approved you for 20000 to go buy another car, but everything you saw you wanted was 25000 would you go buy a new car or would you just, with the, with the 20000 with what you have available to you, or would you say, I'm just going to go get me a bicycle? You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to go get me a little golf cart, walk to work because I can't find what I want. No, you won't do that. You're going to work with what the bank gave you because you're not going to be out in this heat and this rain and all this other stuff. You're going to find and work with what you got. And that's what I told her we're going to do here. We're going to work with what we have. And I'm going to find you something. Best and believe that. But you have to rein in the things that you're looking at, the things that you want in 170 and 180s. It's not going to do anything but deter you even more. I also asked her, how old are you? I knew the answer already, but I wanted her to tell me. She told me her age. I said, is this going to be your forever home? She said, no. Right. So you're going to be in this house five, maybe seven years. I've had clients in their house two years. Actually, I got a client today. Just went to an inspection. I bought, sold them house two years ago. About two months ago, I just sold that house to someone else. So he was the buyer of the house two years ago. Then he was the seller. Two months ago, he was the seller of that house that I sold to a client of, of, of ours. And now he's about to buy a house on five acres of land. Because he knew that wasn't his forever home. It was just a starter home for him. And it got him to get everything aligned. He, he paid less there than he would pay in rent. And then he moved forward. And I'm trying to tell her the same exact thing. Find something that you can live with, something that you do want because you do want to become a homeowner. I'm not asking you or telling you to settle. I'm just saying, be smart. Becoming a homeowner and getting some real estate that you can sell five years from now and possibly make a profit on and then go find your forever home after your debt decreases, your income increases, and your debt to income ratio changes, or you get married, have a second income, or that kind of thing, now is when you can find everything that you want. You don't have to get everything you want on the first try, all right? So if you're out there being discouraged right now because of where your credit situation is, or because your income isn't where you want to be, you get approved for less than you want it, do not say anything crazy like, I'm just going to continue to rent. I'm going to go find me another apartment. I'm going to, oh, I see this nice two-bedroom apartment with everything I want, but it's $1,400 a month. Why would you do that? The only reason you would do that is if you have some kind of bigger goal in mind and, you know, or your credit is just that bad where you can't get anything at this moment in time but if your credit is good enough you're approved and you're ready to go i just can't see myself saying i'm going to go continue to rent when i have the approval to go buy something i can't see myself getting approved to go buy a car saying i'm going to continue to ride this bicycle and or walk to work because it wasn't enough think about that it's your man vic i am the house of columbia and as always you guys have a great and blessed day. I'll back at your boy. Y'all be cool.